Hello and welcome to Behind the Scenes at L2 Illusions. I'm Peter Locker. I'm the inventor of the elevator, the ultimate street levitation. We're here today because we've made a short instructional video to help aid you while you're learning the effect. Now our video is nothing spectacular and nothing fancy. We just wanted to come up with a quality levitation that works for real people in real situations. And we want to teach it to you. You can view the elevator from the front or the sides. You can even have two volunteers standing directly on either side of you, hold on to their hands, levitate a few inches off the ground, and even do a mid-air rotation. It looks incredible. But not only that, you don't need special clothes or even special shoes. You can show the bottom of your feet before and after the illusion. In fact, you can even do the illusion barefoot. That's right, no shoes at all. You start clean and you finish clean. Get ready. Because I'm going to teach you how to levitate. Okay, now before we actually teach you how to levitate and use the device, I just want to talk about it for a moment. The elevator levitation device is made up of two components. And the first one is this. It's an industrial strength reel. This is not some sort of cheap $5 or $10 reel. This is the world's finest reel, and it's been installed with a steel cable uh, that has a nylon coating around it, and it's virtually silent when in operation. The reel on the back here also has a belt clip, and it's convenient for clipping it onto the back of your belt or even to the rim of your pants. The second part of the device is this. It's the elevated platform, and again, it's made of the finest materials. It's made of an industrial strength plastic, and it's been molded by IPEX. It's been filled and then it's been coated on the top here with some black felt for your comfort. You'll notice it's beveled right around the middle here, giving it almost a cone shape. This is for a couple of reasons. One, to make it more deceptive, almost more invisible to the audience, because it's smaller here where it's closer to the ground, yet yeah, it's wider on the top part, so it gives you a wider surface area for your foot, ensuring for proper balance. Each one of these has been hand-made and constructed, and it's ensured that you are getting a proper quality control when you open up your elevator. You're going to love using this device because it's so well made and so well constructed. You're going to be proud to own it. Here we are in an industrial area out of the streets of Toronto. I thought this would be a perfect place to show you how the elevator works. The first thing is, is the setup. We have to show you how to set it up. And I'll tell you, this will only take about three seconds. You see the belt clip on the back? It simply hooks onto your belt right here. And that's it, you're set. There's one more thing that you can do. You can slide the reel all the way over and simply put the gimmick inside of your pocket. And now you're free to turn around without having any fear of the gimmick being seen. When you're ready to perform the illusion, simply show them your back, slip out the gimmick, and slide the reel all the way around to the back here. And you're set. You're ready to go. That's the setup. Three seconds. The next thing that I want to teach you is the steel. Now, when you've set up your gimmick, make sure that the platform is directly over the right leg, right here. Now, the steel is a very important piece of misdirection during the elevator presentation. The first thing you're going to want to do is walk up to your audience or your spectators and show them your feet bottom of your feet. Now, I'm going to explain this as if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, simply reverse everything that I say. You're going to walk up, show them the left foot. Now, if you've noticed, I've taken my left hand and placed it around my back. Okay? It's very important that you do that. So, you walk up, you show them the left foot, the bottom of it, and place the, the left hand behind the back. The next move is with the right foot. Take the right hand and place that around the back as you lift up the right foot. When you do that, you're actually stealing the gimmick with your right hand. It's a very, very simple process. I'll show you what it looks like one more time. You walk up, show them the left foot. This hand's behind here. And you reverse it, show them that foot, and you've stolen the gimmick. It's perfect. Extremely very uh, natural looking piece of misdirection. No one will even have a clue that you're, what you're doing behind here. Not only that, they're only staring at your feet. They're not even looking at your hands either. Next, I'm going to show you the slide.
Now I want to teach you the slide. Again, this is another important piece, and there's going to be a little bit more misdirection involved in this part of the presentation of the elevator. Once you've uh, done the setup and you've done the steel, you'll simply run the gimmick all the way down to the back of your leg. Make sure this thumb is visible from the front, okay, right here. This will give the audience a perception as if this hand is actually empty. Now, the other key part about this is making sure that the left hand is also on this leg here, and you slide them up and down at the same time. Okay? I also like to do some of this, as if I was warming up, getting ready to levitate. So you'll do this, and I'll just show you what it looks like from the side here or from behind. You'll slide this all the way down. Now, once you get to behind the back of the knee, you're going to want to bend down so that this piece here gets lodged in between behind the knee, behind the calf and the thigh right here. This will lock it in place, giving you uh, freedom to move your hands and show them empty again. Let me show you again just one more time how that would look. Okay? Once you've done the steel, you'll be bending down, you'll be locking the gimmick in place, showing your hands freely. Now you can come back and steal the gimmick again. Okay, the final part of the slide is simply bringing the gimmick all the way down to the back of the heel. Now, the next part I'm going to show you is how we get the gimmick and slide it underneath the heel. So, where we last left off, we were talking about the slide. Once you've reached this point in the routine, if you notice the way I'm, I, I'm kneeling down, by natural cause, the back of your heels actually lift up a little bit. So this is going to give you the perfect opportunity to take the gimmick and simply slide it underneath the heel. Cock your foot back just slightly so it levels the gimmick off, and you're set. Now you're ready to levitate, and that's what I'm going to show you next. Here comes something that's going to be a little bit more difficult to do, and that's the actual levitation itself. This will take some practice, but don't get too frustrated. Here's what you do. Once the gimmick is underneath your right foot here, as you can see, you're going, I'm just going to show you what this looks like from the front here. Um, you're going to be slowly or fast, however way is more comfortable for you, to, to basically just lift up with your feet so you're floating. You're placing all of your weight on the right leg, and then you can come back down again. That's the levitation. Okay, now don't worry about the sides right now. I'm going to teach you a little bit later on how we can actually show this illusion with people all around you, except for behind you, of course, but people on both sides and in front of you. You can perform the levitation, float up, stay as long as you want, and come back down. Now, I think it's important that what I want to do is I want to recommend you trying to find a point in front of you as you levitate. Focus on that point in front of you. It will help you keep your balance. And it's just a little tip we just wanted to teach you about the elevator. Try looking down, keeping a point, and then coming back down again. The next thing I'm going to show you is the mid-air rotation. The next thing that I want to show you is the mid-air rotation. Now, this is going to take a little bit of discipline from you. But once you get it down with some practice, you're going to floor some people with this. You're going to freak some laymen out. Now, here's what happens. When you, balance, when you lift up in the levitation, you balance on that right foot, you're going to shift your weight again. And it will take a little bit of practice, and it will look a little bit choppy when you're doing this by yourself. Now, I'm also on some pavement here, and you should be on probably a, a more smoother surface when, when uh, performing this. A hardwood floor or tile or something like that or even a sidewalk would probably work a little bit better, but I'll try it for you one more time. I'm just going to lift up, and you can slide your feet around, and then come back around again, and drop down to the ground. That's mid-air rotation. And when you've done finishing your levitation, what I'm going to do is I'm show you from here from the side. When you've done, you're simply just going to let go, and the gimmick is going to shoot up to your back. That is how the uh, gimmick is released, and leaves you clean after. And now you're free to show your feet before and after. Now. The thing is with the mid-air rotation, when you're first learning, I recommend you doing it with spectators. And that's the next thing I'm going to show you is using spectators to cover your angles and also using them to your advantage to aid you with your balancing and when you're first getting started with the illusion. Let's talk about that. Okay, so here we are. The next thing I'm going to talk about is spectators and covering your angles. For this demonstration, we're only going to use one spectator. Now, 
By having a spectator on either side of you, you can use them to actually block other people's view of the gimmick. Now when you invite this spectator on either side of you to come up, you're gonna, ha you're gonna have them face forward to the rest of the spectators watching. You would have this person do the same thing, stare forward, keep them face forward. They can't look behind you on either side, it's impossible. So when you're doing your moves, it's fine, you just step back a little bit, you'll be placing the gimmick under your foot as usual, this person will be here, this person will be here. Now, this is how we use them to the advantage. You would then grab their hands and say, look, I need you to concentrate on my feet. Grab this person's hand and ask them to do the same thing. And now you can actually use these people as leverage and levitate. And you can basically just stay up here as long as you want. You can smoke a cigarette. You can do anything. It's so easy. So when you're first learning the effect, I was just trying to perform it like this. And from the rest of the spectator's perception, they're going to be thinking, oh my god, he had people standing right next to him. I saw it from the front. People were over here on the sides, and nobody has seen anything. And this person as well, when as soon as you lift up to release the gimmick, these people here help block that as well, from these people's view over here and over here. Well, now you know how the elevator works, and I hope that I've given you enough visual aid to get you started and going out and practicing the effect. But it will take some practice, the balancing and the meta rotation. It's not going to come to you right away. It will take some practice. Um, second thing I just want to mention before uh, we leave you today, and that is uh, part of the retail price that you've paid today is for the secret to protect it, really protect the secret. The mass magician has asked us you know, to come up with new methods and new ideas. So today I've come up with the elevator, brand new ultimate street levitation that works for real people in real situations. So look after it. Uh, and just before I go, I just want to mention a couple other presentational ideas. Um, there are several mentioned in the manuscript that I'm not going to get into. You can read about that. But there's a couple that I just wanted to talk to you about because I think it would be easier if I explained it in person rather than writing it down. Uh, the first one would be uh, just a little something you can add to the gimmick. Um, you take the bottom, you'll notice, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard plastic and it will, make, it will make noise. So what I suggest you can do is you can actually just get a piece of weather stripping found at your local hardware store. You can peel this off here and basically you just attach it to the base and all the way around here. And now you have a cushion on the bottom and the elevator isn't going to make any noise at all. So, that, so that, that's a little tip for you. And again, you can take this off and have it the other way. Now, the reason why you wouldn't want this on is if you're doing the mid-air rotation. Because this is a rubber, it's not going to be easy to rotate and slide. So with that said, you basically, if you want quiet, you're not going to be able to do the rotation. But uh, when you're out on the streets and this thing hits the pavement and, or whatever, you're not going to hear it. And you're not going to hear the reel either. So it is a silent trick, but I just if you want it, if you're cautious about it, it's there for you. Um, another thing I just want to talk about, and that is if you want to do the illusion without bending down, there's a simple way you can do it. You can get a piece of dowling about yay big, you put one hook on the end here, hang it off the back of your shirt on the back top here near your tag. On the other end of the dowling will be a split hook that you can find in almost any hardware store in, in North America or even the world. On the plastic uh, piece of the elevator, the, you can attach another, the, the female end of the split hook on there. You can attach that to the wood dowling, still have the reel and still have it in the same spot. When you're ready to perform the illusion, you would stand up, you would lower the wood dowling with the uh, split hook male end into the female end of the elevator platform part of the gimmick. Slide that under your foot, and you're not having really bent down yet. Release it, hook that back on, but instead of under your shirt, you'd be hooking onto the back of your pants. You would simply take your jacket off, release the hook again, turn the jacket around so now the wood dowling would be inside of the jacket, you would lie it down, do the levitation, release the gimmick as normal, it shoots back up, and you've cleaned and you've never bent down. Now, with all those things said, remember, read the manuscript because there's some other points in there that we haven't discussed on the video. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please do not hesitate to contact me personally or L2Illusions at all. Me or Sean would be more than happy to answer any questions. So I want you to get this going, practice it, get out there, start freaking people out as much as we have. Enjoy the elevator. I'm Peter Lockhart, L2 Illusions.